speech now and why is it coming out wrong why is coming out because there is some uh, opinion about the other person and that is what is happening and that is what is making uh, uh, why wrong speech is coming out and, and when, when you see the other person at fault the wrong speech will come out through you and the more you see him as flawless uh, the faulty speech will not come out through you there are so many ways whereby you can see him flawless it is a discharge the middle man uh, when the when when the when the middle one and it is, you know, his external activity is wrong, but his inside he may be repenting. So you do not know what is happening inside him. So that is why you have such opinions about him. So, 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 so these are all evidences that are happening in this church. So if you have an underlying opinion within you, if you do not have the exact understanding that inside at the subtle level he may be, may be, may be repenting, but externally he may be saying something wrong. So in any interactions of speech, you should have the dual vision that what he's speaking is really the external speech internally he may be repenting and so you really need to understand that whatever you are keep, well you know you have the theoretical theoretical knowledge of speech but now you have to go into the practical level if you find the other person at fault to the slightest extent then you need that he's like this or she's like this etc then you really need to kind of move into the right approach here and because we are always constantly trying to to have our own way in it. We are trying to protect our own self. We are have deception in intents. Our intents are deception, which will be deception. We have we want to try to protect something about our own selves. We are trying to protect our own small self in this thing. And we have the we have so for everyone we have opinions about it. Opinion simply epiprai means that if we have seen it once, the intellect will brand an opinion that is like this at other times and the second time when you see him and then then the old opinions will arise in it and that that means now now it becomes a prejudice again and again that opinion gets entrenched and on the basis of entrenched opinions uh, uh, prejudices happen and on that basis of that prejudices the faults arise in your speech towards him you're nice to, in your speech with some other somebody else but with that person you again your speech is harsh and hurtful but you know he is you know he is flawless but you're not seeing that he is flawless. You have to see that he is flawless through the applied vision of your S capital self and the application of this gnan. And you have to you have to say that he is the non-doer. He is really flawless, and he really he is the pure soul. And then, if we want to go forth with the pure, uh, uh, non-violent speech, which is siyadvad, and and, and then this will decrease the junk within and and you will become free from insistent speech hurtful speech within it and when is you know you may be have hurtful speech but it begins with the issues of not finding any fault with the other person in this case, even 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 to make a, a thief understand dada uses such beautiful never holds even the mind that he is a thief that is night there's the slightest feeling of aversion reaction towards that person before he talks to the thief in the same way we have to talk with those with whom we have sticky reactions with file uh, of speech with 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 speech and when you whenever you speak about that person there is hurtful speech coming out only and then you worry about it so so we are doing pratikraman only at the subtle level only we are not going into the uh, there is a lot remaining in side which still remains to be taken care of and we uh, uh, and then then the opinions about other uh, uh, opinions about other people prejudices about other people but our five agnas are such that it will make us see the other person flawless in the relative and abs and absolutely the pure soul in the real and whatever has happened is we have a state then there is no question or a, of the opinion or the or the or prejudices there but because to believe that the person is continuously a thief it is that 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 uh, that uh, but but but, the, but you see but the, but the other person is constantly changing on the basis of his karma but you know your opinion is what is binding he may be a very good person he may have turned into a saint now but you you are holding him in your mind through the prejudices that he is like this only so externally may the wrong thing may be happening 
but you know, but you know, but 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 he may be repenting inside, and therefore it is your, you are stuck, and you you and you are stuck, and he he will get receive wrong vibrations from you, saying that this person is looking at me with the wrong vision, and therefore he can sense your vibrations, and so your relations with him will not be the way they should be. So he will not accept your words coming from you. So he will remain distant from you. He will uh, he will have knots with you. He will have further ragvish with you. But the more you become free from this, with you, every human being, with exactness, and even if supposing in Samaik the reactivity was with four or five, but you are having finished with those four or five people, look where within yourself your speech is has got underlying insistences, and what are the underlying ego-based reactions within you? Uh, what is where is your miscorrection? Where is your hero glasses coming in? Where are you not able to see where it is? And that is why you have to see any major event of speech clashes and you know where was my ego in it where was the hurtful ego in speech and how was i how was i at that time in my interactions with those people so that i will not do that again with others so anyone who arises in front of me there will be the true siyadvat speech that is coming out Nadashri says, when I attained the Gnan, I, I cleared it up with my Ragdvesh, with each and everyone. He saw everything in Gnan, but you see, the speech was still coming out that was probably a little harsh, and he cleared it out. And as the harsh speech went away completely, he became the evidence of the absolute Kalyan. For the, for the rest of the world now and the biggest thing that is the obstacle in this thing is this, this insistence and heavy insistence in your world interactions and, and that get expressed through the speech or he is a bad man man I told you he is a bad man don't go there he is a bad man he is a bad man he is a, a bad man so this is a discharge so so he is he is giving opinions in that which is discharging you know tomorrow the discharge karma may be different tomorrow he may have become a saint in the worldly life but your your opinions so everything, the in inside is also changing and the external is also changing in that other person and it is also changing within you too, but your insistence is grab you and, and is the big anchor in your path of progress, therefore you cannot move away from this anchor that keeps you stuck up. And so you don't really need to go into that at all in that direction, so let us clear it up in the proper manner. And so it is due to our opinions and our strong beliefs and our entrenched beliefs and our uh, resistant beliefs and our prejudices, our severe prejudices that we are, that prevent us the, uh, from having the clear and the distinct experience of the self, which is the e capital experience of the self, to, to, that is the spashtavedam. With each and every human being that you have encountered in this life, currently or in the past, there, there is some underlying opinion about him that is the inner knot, that is the uh, some of the layers and things so now that does not let you see it as it is and because you cannot see it as it is your own pond is muddled and therefore it does not let you see through uh, to the others you know so so it does not let you see without the yellow glasses without this without the uh, through the, the, the effect karma the subtle effect karma it makes you force forces you to see it through the yellow glasses rather to see it as the pure one that the other person is and uh, you have to start it with the sticky files, especially with file 1, file 2, and then file 3, and then those who are with you in the seva, in the work of Dada, and this is where you really need to go. And so wherever there is in the slightest argument with someone, they, whenever they're in the slightest argument, the intellect will immediately show the negative of the other person. And that is, and the negative will pile on the negative, and the pile on the negative is because you gave the opinion. And if you have rag for someone, you like that someone, even if even if he's speaking nonsense, you like it. And, uh, you know, and you say, when, when, so, but, but you know, the other people, so, so this world is like, the nature of the world is that it forces, makes their ongoing opinions that are happening all the time. So today we are going to wash off the opinions about other people through the spoken speech. Why and how are you going to get that opinion? Then you are then you are, then it is coming out through the content of your speech. If somebody asks you a simple question, you'll say, why do you ask the question? Immediately there is, you get upset. That means you think you are superior and that you, he is not worth giving an answer to. 
And so, the, you know, whereas somebody else asks you a question, you will spend a half an hour explaining it to him. So who are who are all this? These are your own kashais that is making you behave uh, through speech in hurtful manners. And so, as you, but if you do not have any opinions about the other person, good or bad, then you become free from it. Then, then the more you will rise towards vitaragta, becoming the vitarag, the fully enlightened one. But you see, because in the slowly in worldly interactions, the intellects, as you, as you, intellect, as you start to know, as you start to understand the prakriti of the other person, you see, you see, you are supposed to know the qualities of the prakriti, but you should not brand that person as being so. By branding that prakriti as the, you see the positive and the negative, but you see, but you, you know, the, you see that the prakriti is filled with the positive qualities as well as the negative qualities, but really he is the pure soul only, and therefore, but otherwise you say he verily is the, the kind said, he is like that only, and therefore you you did not say, see that these are the qualities of the non-self complex and got nothing to do with who he or she really is. And as long as you do not have this distinction in the separation of the two agnas of the Gnani Purush, you will not be able to really become free from these negativities because you will, if you, you will see him at fault, you will see the, him as the one who is doing the mistakes, you will see him as the doer. So we need to, we need to purify the vision through the vision of the pure soul and through the application of the two visions of the Agna 1 and Agna 2. So let us do the, uh, the Samaik Vidhi Hey Dada Bhagwan, O oh, pure, pure Lord Simandar Swami Prabhu, with the exact applied awareness of the pure self, Shuddha Upyog, through sticky file interactions, in sticky file interactions, wherever wherever uh, towards any person about per other persons opinions have formed opinions have been given and prejudices have formed L let me see all those mistakes in samaik and grant me the energy to see those mistakes in Samaik. To see the prejudices and the opinions through the applied awareness of the S capital self in the five Agnas and to wash them off. Grant me the energies to do such a Samaik, my Lord. In the speech interactions through other, to other with other human beings, wherever a speech of Rag and speech of Dvesh arose, at, and to to, know, to recognize the underlying opinions of the small SELF and to clear it off, grant me do such samaik, my lord. As I become, as the opinions become less and less and clear, then Vitarag speech will and Syadva's speech will arise. Until then, progress will not happen. Therefore, today in this Samaik, let, which, whatever person was seen at fault, previous opinions and prejudices have been given. Let me see it all in Samaik and to clean it off and to wash it off. Grant me such energies, my Lord. I surrender the mind, speech and body. All illusions associated with my name, bhav karma, charge karma, dravya karma, subtle discharge karma, yellow glasses, no karma, gross discharge karma, O oh, Dada Bhagwan, the manifest self within me, I surrender them unto thy divine feet. I am surrendering them all, my Lord. Dhatma chu, shud 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 dhatma chu, Shut that march, 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 shut that march
Jai Sachidanan, Jai Sachidanan. Do go deep into the Samaik very beautifully and see it all. Jai 